Obviously, it's one of the sharpest lines. Uh, So-called accelerated dragon, if I'm not wrong. Yeah, and Gadir knows it very well. Do you think Safari doesn't know it that well? Yes, of course he does, but... And both these guys play this, uh, I think, with uh, both colors. I know that Gajir Gusenov is uh, playing this line with black very often, but obviously he can play it uh, with a white piece just as well. He knows it. Right, but, right, right, right. Yeah, he knows this inside out. That's kind of what I meant by that. I wasn't meaning to slight El Tash. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, obviously El Tash is an expert in this line as well, let's assume. And I'm not going to hide the fact that I'm, I'm pretty close friends with Gadir. I really, I got to admit, I'm cheering for him to win. Mm -hmm. okay. He's sick. Ah, oh, well, I got that in too late. Not going to get this one in too late. He's castling. Yeah, it's all serious so far. Oh, mad props to uh, Basam Amin. Well done, my friend. Yes, he's in the lead right now. I think uh, Gadir will probably play Bishop B3 like Bobby. He has a lot of respect for Fisher. <laughs> he has a lot of respect for me too, because I've played so many Blitz games against him, and he always played Bishop B3 in this position. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I a, found funny, a funny way to learn theory. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So now Black has some choice. Ah, who got, nobody, nobody got gets. that. Wow. 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 Wow, 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 wow. Well, he's going to take. Obviously. First shoot, then ask the questions. Right, right. Yeah, yeah very Soviet of you. <laughs> 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 That's how it should be done. <laughs> I love you, Sasha. <laughs> thank you, Mike. <laughs> yeah. Oh, thank you for everything, man. <laughs> the only, the only one thing what worries me is that Nava is 19 points ahead of me, and I don't know why. <laughs> no, you're smart, man. You're very, very smart, man. And you're smart to, you know. Acknowledge that uh, she's a superior human being. Uh, I wish I wouldn't have to do it. But... <laughs> <laughs> Dude, you're uh, lucky. That's why you married so, her. Okay, hold on, hold on. It's interesting situation. Knight A5. Yeah, it was all this. And, um, hmm. Interesting. What's next? Yes, very interesting. Very interesting. Yes. My. Ah, yeah, this is a chance to win some crowns right here. Queen d2 is the main line, but the queen f3 has had quite a bit of, uh, oh, and Yuri solo Dovnichenko. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Yuri has won recently against Lee with h3. So we know what yeah. Yuri would do here. Oh. I think so far, Dr. Bassam Amin is clearly superior to everybody in this line because he's, uh, he's amazing and got already 939 crowns after only, what, nine moves. That's, yeah. that's quite, quite incredible. And Yuri's right behind him, and Yuri uh, has won the well, uh, relevant games in the world uh, that is recent in this line. Yeah, his uh, count is a little bit more modest than Dr. Bassam Amin. It's only 590 crowns, but still he's in second place. Uh, Mariam Tudarachi is doing well, 512 crowns. Um, well, Nava, you know, baby! <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. She, yeah she's, I don't know how she's doing that. She sure isn't getting advice from you. Why would I give her advice instead of doing it myself? I know, that's what I just said. I wasn't being... 
I'm right behind. I'm, I'm only 19 crowns behind. So at what point she passed me? I just can't, can't understand. She doesn't play this line at all, but she knows that I, I play them occasionally. So I know a little bit, not much, but. Your sound is so much better than it. Yeah. Yeah, you're coming through loud and clear. How do I sound today? Nice. No hair. Yeah, it's much better today. Good dear. Good dear. Uh, Kairov and I were working on it all night again. He noticed some weird stuff that, because from his experience, man, uh, he he noticed stuff I didn't even notice. So I'm grateful to him, and he's played a <laughs> tournament today in years. He just sent me a score sheet from the first round. Kairov Joshi, he won in 10 moves. <laughs> 10 moves, wow. What, what a count. Yeah, well, he should playing, play more though. often, though. Yeah, he should. He should. He should. And I want to thank you for uh, having lunch with my friend uh, Andy Blanchard yesterday. Oh, what an epic moment. You guys are both so smart. And uh, we're going to revolutionize, revolutionize education, man. Thank you, Mike. Thank you. Well, people don't okay. know. They might get some idea from seeing what you do on this website. But Sasha is well committed to changing the way things are done in this world and has offered me a monumental tool for my uh, classes at uh, Corbett Prep in Tampa by integrating uh, this website, and I'm very grateful to you, Sasha. Okay, we'll have to try and see how it all works. We don't know at this moment, because we've never done it before. Right, baby! Revolutionary and brilliant, created by Sasha Stark. By the way, tomorrow, tomorrow, October 1st, it's going to be exactly one year since we opened the chessstars.com, so... Wow. It's going to be 12 months, one year since uh, we started uh, this website. And it gets better every day. Yeah, I hope so. <laughs> well, you sure try to make it better every day. What is El oh, oh, Yes, oh, oh, here's thinking. Deep think. Oh. So essentially, uh, the hints are Queen G2, uh, Castle, and Knight F3. Well, I'll, I'll bet my bottom dollar Yuri has entered his move H3. I entered queen f3 because I wanted to steal the pool. Mm -hmm. Queen d2's played a lot. It's interesting that Kadir is thinking here. And the yeah. thing is, they know each other's tendencies. These guys uh, were best friends for a long time, and they definitely know each other's weaknesses. Yes, yes. And don't forget that uh, they are members of the Azerbaijani uh, Olympic chess team. And uh, so they were always, um, they have an access to each other's uh, opening repertoire and they know it quite well. And um, it even make, makes this contest even more interesting because uh, they have to at some point surprise each other. And it's so far maybe so far they surprised Gadir by his choice. Yeah, yeah, no doubt. So, were they wearing those blue jackets, those sky blue jackets? Is that a national color in Azerbaijan? Uh, probably, yes. I, I, I wouldn't know for sure, but um, probably, yeah. Well, both our boys look good in those jackets. The color suits them. I, lo I love the way they look in those jackets, man. It's, it's cool. Apparently, they have an awesome team. They have uh, maybe Diara, Frajabov. Um, in the right circumstances, uh, their team could compete uh, for one of the top three places. In yeah, the yeah, and they had a home field advantage in US one, but the US dressed like bums, man. I mean, mm -hmm. I'm a little disappointed in that. I love the Imagine video that I yep. put up today uh, of having everybody in Baku uh, that was in the event singing Imagine John Lennon's song. I wish the NFL would do that. Uh, before uh, the national anthem and get everybody link arms and that, but uh, the U.S. team, I cry when they do the shaking hands thing, but they're dressed like bum. Mm -hmm. Come on, U.S., tighten up. I mean, seriously. Uh, but here I get on about dress code. <laughs> when Fide won't let you wear shorts. Uh, what? Whatever. The, uh, actually, the dress code is concerning only about the men's uh, 
uh, either shorts or, or pants or it, it doesn't cover the what they wear as on the top like whether it's a t-shirt or is it, uh, uh, long sleeves or short sleeves I mean it only requires not to wear shorts is that what dress code all about I, I know I know and, and the 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 Olympia in Baku was just such a cool event and so inspiring to me personally because we were doing these broadcasts, Sasha, and Alexander Lenderman told me he was listening from Baku. You know, that's just so cool. They're, they're doing the Olympiad, and he's got the U.S. team there listening to our broadcast. Very humbling. Mm. Alex is a good guy. Yeah, U.S. team uh, was spectacular in this event. Oh, my, yes. I'm not sure uh, at what times they will ever... ever ever uh, will repeat that. I doubt that it, it will happen very soon. Well, it's a pretty strong team there, buddy. Um, I'm afraid it's one trick pony because... Uh, <laughs> wow! You see, the problem is... No, no, they're good players uh, by all means. The problem is that uh, the motivation factor will, will no longer be there. That's the problem. Well, yeah, and you know... How much did Lenderman really do as coach? He kept telling me that uh, what was happening was he was mainly helping the girls because uh, they had their hands full. You know, these guys, they have their own, they, they, you know, they don't really want to coach. But it was a great opportunity for Alex, and he probably won't do it again. He just kind of really kind of wanted to put it on his record. No, but, but think about each of these top GMs like Caruana, Nakamura. Uh, they all have Wesley so They have their opening uh, preparation yeah. analyzed to the depth by, uh, by experienced coaches, of course, computers and so on. What Alex Lenderman can uh, bring a new or something valuable into their uh, superior opening preparation? His right? coffee. He can bring them coffee. I mean, with, all due, with all due respect, I respect Alex Lenderman. He's very talented. And look at how well he plays in this Isle of Man tournament. Yeah. But, come on, let's be realistic. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, the new thing he could bring him was coffee, but he, I don't, I, he maybe he even did do that. But I, I got again, the guy was playing the tournament of his life in Tbilisi. He knew about Hurricane Irma hitting Tampa. The guy contacted me every day, despite playing in the tournament of his life. Right. And and it was just yeah. what a guy. And Henley was contacting me every hour, but that was kind of helping both of us because uh, he was telling me what was happening in Miami, so that we could kind of help each other as to the way that thing was going. Okay, uh, so what's happening right now in the game? This is a Gadir for the last 10 minutes or so. He's thinking about uh, a move in fairly well-known position. So that means that indeed so far we surprised him with this opening choice and maybe a move D5 in particular. Yeah, exactly. Good point. Good point, Sasha. Uh, well, I'm just seeing what's happening, and I'm just trying to analyze and uh, come to some conclusions. Well, the conclusion is uh, if uh, this is really a, a main variant point, and as a coach, I tell my players, you know, don't waste a lot of time in the opening. Be prepared before you, you sit down. But when it gets to the critical point, that's when you sit on your hands. Use your time wisely. So I think this is a wise time to survey the situation. However, he's now 10 minutes behind El Tash, and that's not a good deal in Rapid. It's interesting that, uh, I think I told you many, uh, about this um, book of uh, uh, thought and choice of moves in chess. So, as you know, the top elite grand masters, like uh, on the level of world champion, they look at the position of only 1.8 moves at the time, which means less than two. So, in this case, if this position would be shown to somebody like uh, Michael Tal or Gary Kasparov or even Magnus Carlsen, they would look at only maximum two moves for yeah. White to play. Yeah. So, which are those two moves, in your opinion? Queen F3 and Queen D2. Not castle, no? 
But you, you cut me down to two. I would, I would say it's going to be an active move. It's going to be a move that's going to decide the uh, complexion of the game. No, well, <laughs> with all due respect, Michael, if I would uh, ask that uh, question, Gary Kasparov, and he would answer me this Queen D2 and Queen F3, that would be the end of the story. But with you, I, <laughs> I wanted to take liberty to suggest some other choices as well. Well, I'm a correspondence player, so I do things differently than Kasparov. Yes, yes, you do. I have to look at all the variations, and I'd rather lose a finger than lose a pawn. Because when you get a bad position in a correspondence game, you're defending it for six months or a year. And the thought of that just, oh my God, I can't, yeah, you know me, I can't handle that type of thing. I'd go off the deep end. <laughs> no, I agree with you at, at your well, well taken point because there are eight pounds in chess and only 10 fingers. So yeah. the pounds ah, are ah, exactly, exactly. I love you, Sasha. Love just like me. Good point. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, you're on fire today. <laughs> so keep your fingers and keep your palms. What can I say? Oh yeah, well I haven't cut one off yet, but there was a time where I thought about it. One game where I was busted, and the guy had me, and it was because I followed Kasparov's suggestion of a King's Indian line. I had my knights on A6 and H6 like Gary, and all of a sudden yeah. the wood came off the board. All he had to do... He had a king at d5, and he's got me. And then out of the blue, for no reason, he played king c4, decentralized my, his king. I played king e6, draw, and I don't know how that happened, dude. So I was busted once, yes. I was busted twice. There's another game that's in the New and Chess yearbook uh, that looks like a miniature I won against... Uh, uh, I played the anti-marshal, and the guy played the marshal anyway, and I was lucky to prevail... And it looked like White had a brilliant win, but I was lucky. I, I'm maybe the only one that realized I was lucky there. But uh, Matt played that line, and I got in touch with Peter. I said, Peter, Peter, you can't do that. That's not really an anti-martial. And I showed him that game. He says, oh, yeah, Mike, you're right. So it's amazing how correspondence games that I played in 1992 still are relevant today. And it's amazing what Fisher did. His lines are still relevant today. He was way ahead of his time. And so um, now there are some suggestions to check maybe with Gadir if he is online and everything is all right with him. Yeah, I was wondering about that too. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah, the only message him. Hey. Uh, okay. Are you okay? All right. Uh, all right. Well, let me look at that again. Oh, what does that mean? He's, he's marked on Skype as a way. Last activity 10 seconds ago, though. So that's good. Okay, so there is some activity. Yeah. Holy mackerel, you don't it's hear that very often. It's interesting all the schemes of suggesting that White has about uh, almost a half pound advantage. Yeah. And Stockfish agrees with me now. I'm kind of surprised. Yes, thank you, Yuri. Yuri is the cutting edge of fashion for real. And the way he's played on this site lately is uh, as well as anybody ever. Very proud of Yuri. Been really doing well lately. And thank you for the uh, addition there. Yes, yes, Yuri uh, noticed uh, very correctly, and... Um... <laughs> wow, wow, you see what Yuri wrote? <laughs> yes. <laughs> wow, Yuri, uh, you know, that's an important thing about a chess player to maintain uh, humility and uh, know how... Oh, um, you know, an accurate appraisal of your fallibilities. Wow. <laughs> but you still, Yuri. Ding, ding, ding. I should have. Okay. Ah. Well done. I should have put Very 100 well on it. And it also gave Miller 291 crowns each. And also Irene Barchuk 291 crowns. And GL 
GL58 crowns. Well done and congratulations. Well, you know, my buddy Gadir took 10 minutes on a move that took me a minute. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm in the contest. I had to make a quick choice. I, I think he did the right thing. And now Atelsh has uh, gone with Bishop G4, which is, uh, you know, I think I would have bagged the bishop when Knight takes B3. Um, Gadir's move is obvious. Yeah. This happened seven times in chess history. Mm -hmm. Kulats and Shirov. Yeah. Alex A. Alex, say one from here. Oh, wow. So we have four wins for white, two wins for black, and a draw. But the only really relevant game, well, I shouldn't say that, it was uh, Kulouts and uh, Shira, but we also have Ganguly and Barnour. I do not know Barnour. 2,500. Oh, we got a Dimitri Gervich game, too. Okay. And he got killed. That's mm. interesting. So they are blazing new territory here. Very interesting that they're both um, inclined to, to play a very important theoretical line right here. Yeah. Love it. Well, he's either going to bag the bishop or play bishop h5. Because he could bag the bishop first, but if he wanted to do that, he would have done it before, right? Right, right? So he's going to be bishop yep. h5. And he bags the bishop just because he hates me. <laughs> El Tosh just instantly refuted whatever I, I've been saying all day. He did it last week, too. But he can't hear me, right? Okay, so a pawn <laughs> takes now, which one? Probably A. Oh, yeah. Pawn yeah. takes. Yeah. Also, there's a knight takes. Yeah. And pawn C, which looks yeah. ugly, probably will not happen. <sighs> Uh, I think we're transposing back into the Shirov game. Mm -hmm. oh, I'm so confused. No, oh, wait a minute. Do it this way, Mike. There you go. Okay. AB3. And then Bishop H5 is almost like box. Yes, it is box. Well, in the meantime, uh, uh, is still in the lead. And Yuri Sordovan is very close second. Then Abdullah is third, Michael, you are in fourth place, and so on. And what is Gadir thinking about? I'm really concerned about his health right now. This is an obvious move. I think. No, uh, he may he may take it with a knight. Uh, uh, Unlikely, but but uh, probably yeah, that's I what think I, I think I'd put my house on this. <laughs> <laughs> oh god well the first line obviously is uh, pawn A takes to B3 so that sh it should what's all happened anything. every time ever and he, he has now less than 10 minutes left so he has to be careful about time oh and there's also a Ponte Maria of Gelfand game how did I miss that yeah, I've heard really? your Gelfand guy. Mm -hmm. you met him, right? Uh, Boris, oh yeah, many yeah, times. Yeah. Of course. Do you know in Isle of Man he lost to Anya Zatonsky with a white piece? Cool, I love Anna. Yes, yeah, she's very good. Wow. What? I think she's now, she's now rated number six or seven woman in the world in wow. chess. Well, she didn't so play I, like it at the U.S. Championship. I don't know what was going on there. But my heart went out to her. She had a really tough tournament this year. Yeah, she's, lately she doesn't do well. I mean, she won it four times, but lately she's not doing yeah. that well. And I mean, she's always very close to winning that, and then she collapses. And Yeah, then, uh, yeah. Brilliant, brilliant mind. Done commentaries together. And finally. She's, she's very, very uh, sharp, as is Alexandra Dmitrievich. Lexi is the most underrated person, I think, uh, that we know. I know you'd say Nanad. They're both they're both underrated. Yeah, I, I agree, obviously. All right. Well, Gadir will play D6. Yeah, that's typical, typical Gadir's move. Yeah. 
Is Nay not here? Um, he must be working today. Oh, you, you, you can check. Maybe he's working. Yeah, I'm looking. <laughs> I don't see him anywhere. He was very busy yesterday playing uh, this. Uh, yeah, oh my yeah. God. Yeah, yeah, like, <laughs> he was playing, I think, for 24 hours. Seriously. Yeah, well, there's a few options here for uh, El Tash. Uh, he takes the four, e5, even maybe Ricky eight. Um, I guess knight g4 is the best. Will he do that? Yeah, that's a that's an El Tash. Well, I don't know. Wait. Ah, jeez. I'm gonna temper my. I'm not putting a hundred on this. Ah, I should have. Yes. Oh, God. Oh, yeah. my God. And Yuri has jumped to the lead. Good job, Yuri. Oh my God, I'm so slow. Yeah, this is my weakness in this contest every time. I mean, I, I can't blame it on the broadcast either because I've gotten used to doing it, and Gadir never had any problem doing the broadcast and getting moves in. Uh, he will go coincide. Yes, yes. All right, it's time for me to be bold. Bold prediction Queenside Castling. So I understand that Gadir had to attend to his child for a little while. Sorry about that. Oh my God! No. Yeah. Oh jeez. Yeah. yeah, the whole family's sick. Wow. Wow. Yeah. Oh, look at that, Mike. Here's a move, and oh, Michael, you've done well, and Doctor Pasamamin, and you saw Don Chikan Irene Barchuk. Each won two hundred and thirteen crowns. Yeah. Well, Very well done. We know our boy, and he's under tons of pressure. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Look at that. Imagine that. I got another one right. This is Gelfand uh, against the Panamariev. And Karyak and uh, Dubov. Wow. Well then. Yeah. Get the move in, Mike. Yeah, good times. Oh, and this one's real hard, too. Rook FE8, not Rook FC8. Yeah, yeah, that should be easy enough. And then we have a choice. Rook D E one or Queen D six. Oh boy. Karyakin played Rook D one, Pana Maria played Queen D six. They both won. The first hint is knight d to b5. Queen d6 is a bad move. I should have put this in. I slipped. Six winners. I let them have money. And Mike, 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 you're so slow. And now. Yeah, queen d6 was a bad move for Panaria. He still won, but I guess he got lucky against Gelfand. Now, knight e3 or Rick takes e7. Hmm. Well then. Rick takes e7 was played by Dubov, the, uh, and that's, well, the recommendation in the notes to that game was actually knight takes e3, though. So maybe El Tash did not play the best move here. And, uh, wow, these guys are running away from me. I got to come and give you some competition there, Yuri. And, and I'm sorry, I didn't, I got that one. Good times. Good times. Now what are we doing? Oh, my. What is really? Hmm. Well, grandmasters usually take open files with rooks when they have the opportunity. Rook a8. Are you all right, Sasha? Uh, yeah, I think so. Uh, also, knight takes to e3 probably should be looked at. Yeah, well, that's what he. Uh, you know, the recommendations by Roiz was that um, that's what Black should have done in move 16. And got an equality or conviction. Mm -hmm. But no, this line is looking good for white. Well, white has extra pawn, but the position is very dynamic. They have uh, uh, kings on the opposite sides. 
How many times you played Gadir, Sasha? Yeah. How many times have you played him? Um. <laughs> well, most this guy pawn. Um. <laughs> yeah, most of those are blitz games, of course, with three minutes time control. Most of them, sometimes two minutes. You want to give the guy an extra pawn? <laughs> well, you know what? <laughs> sometimes it's easier to play when you're when you have extra <laughs> extra pawns. Sometimes uh, yeah. uh, you don't care about that. Well, so in the meantime, we have uh, Manan Tadarachi, Abdullah, and Yuri Soldomchika, 136 crowns each, and Gabriel Lee, seven crowns. Oh, hey Gabriel, good job, buddy. Yeah, good to see him today. He won our contest on Facebook, and bang, there he is. Oh, this is looking better and better. Black. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes, G5, for sure. Yep, well done, Michael. Yeah, well, Black's in, Black's in a hurry uh, with liberating the light squared bishop. Yes, absolutely. This makes his pawn structure somewhat exposed. And Yekaterina Ryadnova won 66 crowns for this pawn. All right, Gadir, hit the queen. Hit the queen, Gadir. You can do it, buddy. Yeah! Yes, baby! Good. Well done. <laughs> Good choice. <laughs> All right, then. This is exciting. Well, Eltosh has to centralize his queen and try to get a queen trade here. And Gadir will say, well, yes, that's what I would like to do. The queen yeah. went off. And yeah. we'll push the pawn. Push, push, push. Here we go, baby. Done. Boom, boom. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I'm, you know, if I hadn't slipped up in those earlier moves, I'd be up there with Yuri now. Doggone it. Oh, well. I'm a hurricane victim. I need to win the contest to eat today. Ha <laughs> ha. Good luck. Good luck. You deserve it. <laughs> I think he'll take with a rook. Think I think so. I think he will take with a rook. For sure. And then e4. Push the pawn. E4. He might play g4 though. Mm, mm. No, why help him? No. No. That, why why help him put the bishop on a good square? No. And actually. Um, where where are we again? Got oh yeah, the game between Karyakin and Dubov. Uh, Dubov played Bishop G6 here in next one. So the best move here is right. And well, um, A5 for yeah. some reason suggested yeah. to that's right. That's the right move. Mm-hmm. That is correct. And I believe El Tash will play correct move. Bishop G6 is a mistake. It's a little bit too slow. Yeah. Which was why I was playing E4. Why chase a bit? Good. A5 was actually played. These guys are... This is maybe the best match we've had ever. Maybe since Gadir played um, uh, uh, Jabava. Yeah, that's true. I, I could agree with you. Well, I would think Gadir would take that and liberate his uh, double pawn. Oh, Yuri, I'm coming for you, baby. Stay t stay, stay sharp, Solo. Wow, I'm lucky. Yeah, you're doing fine. You're in second place, and Yuri's in first, and Dr. Basemamin is now in third place. Abdullah in fourth, and Irina Barchuk in fifth place. And I totally butchered the opening on this. Imagine if I got something right. Well, I'm going backwards this time. This is good. I usually right and then just blow it and let these guys uh, fly past me in the middle game. Oh, this is a different... I kind of like this. Maybe I will be able to persist. It is exciting to compete. What? Okay. Wow. wow. Six people had that. Wow. Well, well. Watch your, 
Actually, I had, believe it or not, B5 for some strange reasons. That's a mistake. Yeah, yeah, I don't think uh, so. Yeah, Bishop G6. Oh, and I yeah. didn't get it in in no. time. Mike, Mike, you need to be faster. Now Bassem got it. Oh, wow, Bassem just flew past me. Good job, Bassem. Oh, um, wow, wow, wow. Well, the problem here is Knight F3 is met by a Rook C5. So, um... That's just not a good move. Yeah. Oh, rookie two, no winners. Amazing. Oh, good job, Gadir. Thank you. Yeah, it's Man, a good No, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. What was there a way of holding the pawn? I guess. Nah, well, the pawn's gonna get lopped off now. Well, I don't know if that was a good idea. I think he had alternatives. I didn't have long enough to look at it. He played that right away. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Could he have held the pawn? What about if he had played Rick HF1? Uh, yeah, then Bishop takes E4 isn't so good. Mm -hmm. It's not so good now, and I just don't know what's going on. Another hint is Rook C5. Yeah, what's he think? I just... Maybe I but if it, if it, it takes C4 is automatic here. Maybe absolutely. If it cannot be punished very forcefully at that, mm. so then why why wouldn't you play Bishop E4? I, mm. I'm on the air doing my broadcast. Can I call back at five? Thank you. Thank oh my God! Look oh my. at this. Tim Powell Vasily won twenty. 2,060 crowns. Wow, and I just That's mentioned that move me. as the the response for uh, the knight move. Mm-hmm. Wow. Anyway, and that's a good move. Great job, because that move really makes sense. It does. Wow. 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 I was too dogmatic on the capture. Yes, that was that's the way to play the contest. You don't want to play the stock for... <laughs> I want to play the moves that Sasha and I are mentioning. I want to play something that, uh, like that. Wow. Mm -hmm. Most box and I'm talking. I'm good at talking, aren't I? Wow. <laughs> oh, jeez. Well, Rook C4. Why is this necessary? Yeah. Yeah, that looks like the right move. Oh, I guess it puts pressure on... Yeah, all right. Yeah. yeah I guess B6 makes some sense, too, but... What about uh, King F8? It's a third hint. Yeah, he ain't gonna do that. <laughs> no. <laughs> he ain't gonna do that. <laughs> no, I wouldn't look at that move. Yeah, yeah Rook C4 looks right. Yeah, it does. It feels right, too. <laughs> Al Al Altash has surprised us before. Yeah, B6 has a certain uh, feng, shu uh, feng Shui to it. Yeah, but Rook C4 is a great move. Because yeah, it's, it's a great move. Well, it attacks knight on d4, and it prepares a4 and a3. All right, guys. All right, guys. I'm going to let this contest slip away from me for sure now. Oh, gosh. I'm almost out of the money already. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Tim Pop. Well, got Motsi right behind me in arena. Arena always flies uh, up at the... You're in fourth place. I wouldn't be so pessimistic. I got Orkin and Matsi and Arena behind me. I almost should just resign right now. <laughs> <laughs> you mentioned something about being hungry today. Yes, I know. That's right. That's right. There we go. Yeah. Okay. So Rooks, right. I didn't play that even though I thought he would pick it because you know, everybody was on that. So I, I made a lower uh, selection on something else, even though I expected that. That's a lot of that's the cool thing about this contest. Sometimes you shouldn't even play the move you think the guy's gonna play. Mm -hmm. The move that yeah. gets you the most crowns. Rookie D two for sure. Yeah, and I made a, a slip, a mouse slip on an earlier one. Slip direct to D eight. So. You know, you gotta enter the moves right too. All the little things, just like, just like touch moves. Okay, okay. This move was expected. Yep. So what black is up to? What black uh, is up to? Good question. H five, king of eight. Oh, 
What the? Yeah. This King of Fate movies just it seems a little premature to me. Yeah. H five also Bobby seems Bob. a little. And what would I do here? I don't even know what I would do here. Yeah, you got to be an experienced dragon player to know what you're doing here. I don't know. I don't. I don't know. I don't play the dragon, and I you, I don't play the white side of this anymore like this. So I'm not sure what's happening. What do you think's going to happen here? Um, I would play a four. You know, that's what I was just looking at. Oh, H five was played. Wow. Well, oh, Nava, Nava guessed that move. Ah! Wow, Nava again. Uh, and a cool big five hundred fifty crowns and uh, Pavel Yanni one hundred and thirty eight. Well done. Okay, now does G four have a dynamic effect? Because Kadir likes moves like that. Knight f five. No, knight f five. That just jumps right off at me. Oh, uh, looks like good draw today. Oh, look at Michael Hofer. Oh, wow. Well, well done, Michael. I get to eat, maybe. Yes. yes. <laughs> so the food is still there. It's available. Yeah. <laughs> get it, but it's available. Well, it, oh, Marcelo, 320 towards the world, Denise Radnov and Gabriel Lee to 81 crowns each. Well done, boys. Yeah, I've heard of them guys. I've heard of that Gabriel guy. Oh, yes. You know, he's a big supporter of, of, of you know, alternative choices because uh, his, his email is, is Glee, Glee Chess. G L E Chess. Oh, I see. Oh, 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 I'm sorry. That stands for Gabriel Lee. <laughs> <laughs> I, I got him with that joke earlier today. I saw Glee Chess? Really? Oh, 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 Gabriel Lee. Yeah, okay. Not that there's anything wrong with that. So Bishop C3 is <laughs> always Yeah, that's, that was cool. Oh, yeah. Some smart guys had that one. And, you know, some smart guys are going to have this one, too. Yep. Well, you know, he had a choice between bishop takes c3 and bishop takes f5, according to Stockfish, but uh, yep. a Sicilian player is going to rip on c3 every time. Absolutely. Yeah, they want to play rook takes c3 and rook takes c3 kind of stuff. Where? Well, I think Black, Black would uh, simplify position by taking to f5 and then c3. And uh, we'll have at least an equal game. Now, if he, if he takes on f5, he's still going to have time to get in c3. Is there a compulsion to take on f5 right now, though? No. So, no. No, 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 no. Stockfish, you're wrong. Well, the third hint is interesting. Group e takes to e4. Yeah. Is it possible? Yeah. yeah. Oh, gosh, hates me. Who had? Oh, Bassam. Bassam. Good job, Bassam. You're back in black, baby. Yeah. Wow. 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 Wow, 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 wow. What's going on now? El Tash. Likes to be in pretty. Is there a problem with taking on C3? Why does Stockfish hate it? Yeah, yeah. Rick takes. Yeah, I'm surprised. Oh, that, uh... Nobody tip. Stock. Oh, no, no. I was just going to say everybody should follow Stockfish. But now he's going to take on C3. What else? You know, what else, Sasha? King G7? What about Rook C5? Whoa. Whoa. Does it make sense? Whoa. Uh, yeah, actually, it does. But only someone from Odessa would think of that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, obviously, Rook C3. Yeah, yeah. Straightforward choice, and yeah. obviously. Yeah. Okay. I think White should probably trade Rooks and somehow get uh, yeah. to get well, it wrong. Yeah, this, this moves box. Gadir will, Gadir will go for the trade. Uh, as a matter of fact, we're looking at a dead draw, right, guys? Can we get some? Oh, I'm in second? Whoa, Yuri screwed up. Whoa, I'm chasing my hero. 
Uh, my King's Indian Attack Hero. Oh boy. I want to ask him for his autograph more than beat him. <laughs> I kind of want to do both. <laughs> yeah, you should try to do both. Why not? Uh, so, it, it sucks that he got stuck at twenty six ninety nine at the World Cup when he had that end game and messed up the rook thing. I'm, yeah, you think of bad memories about some, so you make another mistake. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, really, seriously, I was. You're getting being the first African to go over 2700, man. Seriously, all respect to you. I joke a lot, but no, I have mad respect for you and 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 for our friend Husseinov. Ha ha, good job. Thank you, good dear. So, how does it look now? It's gonna be a draw, isn't it? Or can you find a way to uh, uh, be a wizard and pull this out? Well, he would. Minutes, I think with him, he's one of the few guys. I don't think the time matters. He would need Safarlis' help quite a bit. Yeah, yeah, yes, yeah. That's a good point. And El Taj has tons of time. Yeah, I think Safarli has no problem with a draw today and tomorrow white pieces, so he should be quite happy with it. Everybody, Gadir going to take that rook now. <laughs> mm. He's going to go to G7, and then the rook's going to be Yep, 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 yep. These are all box moves. Yeah, no, those moves are pretty easy. Yeah, you can mail this one in. It looks like by someone. Oh, whoa, just 60 crowns? Woohoo! Woohoo! Yeah, whoa. You can still win it, Mike. Oh, my God, I'm nervous now. Come on. Yeah, I got to make it sound good for the audience. <laughs> yeah, dude, these are all forced moves, too. I can hope by some falls asleep. Oh, no, Kadir! Oh. Look at that Nava star. Nava, Nava again! How could you do that? Oh, my. She's got Kadir sitting on her lap, obviously. Oh, no. Dude, I'd go check. Yeah. Go in the other room and check. <laughs> How do you do that? And it's not a good move by Gadir. He should have taken a seventh. Now, seven defense. Gadir, why did you do that? Gadir. I don't think that was a very good idea. Oh, geez. B6, what's going on here? I'm very surprised, really. Yeah. But, oh. oh, mad props. Good job, Nava. Unbelievable. And uh -huh. Pablo Sebastian Yonut also suggested that move. Nine, uh -huh. nine crowns, wow. Good dear, what are you doing? Look at Yuri and What the Abdul hell just happened? Oh my god, that's so clever. What just happened? I'm so confused. Oh jeez. Good dear loves his king moves. Yep, that's what it was. Uh Oh, jeez. That's not, oh, yeah. I put too much on B6. That was stupid of me. Oh, man. Well, this one's easy. Oh, Gusino declines to draw offer. Oh, I love it. Offers to draw. I love it. I well, love it. Why? He declined. Really? Really, Sasha? You got to ask why? Don't ask why. Sasha. Well, right now, he has no risk to continue. Yeah, and he wants to beat this guy badly. Well, it's, it remains to be seen how he's going to It beat has him. nothing to do with the position. Yeah. But you know what? I can imagine that Safari will really get mad at him, and tomorrow with white pieces, he will, <laughs> he will be overly aggressive. Yes, yes, that's that's Gadir's craft. Yes. Okay, so I know what he's going to do here, too. Yeah, Orkin hates Husseinov. I know, I know, I know. He's a bad guy. You guys hate him. You all hate each other. Everyone in Baku hates each other. Oh, finally, my Really? Really? Why didn't he play that the move before? If you're going to play King B2, you play King B3. That didn't make sense. Good job, though. 
Jeez. Okay. Jeez, man. Marian Todoracho also won, and Ekaterina Rednova, and Gabriel Lee. All right. Okay. All right. All right, you guys. All right. Wow. All right. I'm tired of screwing around here. Now Yuri's in the lead. Ah, oh, jeez. Uh, so, Art, what do you hate Husainov? What? What? You're killing me. Gadir's burying me now. That's probably the best move, though. I'm I'm using my brain instead of looking at best moves. I figured he brought the king up for a reason. Well. This one's easy. Yeah. Stock yeah, I would take pawn on g4. I think it's an obvious move here. Mm. Come on now. Remember, good dear, I'm a hurricane victim. I need the crowns. Oh, wow. Come on, Orkin. Why do you hate Kadir? What did he do to you? <laughs> what? what? What's El Tosh doing? You have to take this. There's no question. Fine. This is weird. It's weird. Take stakes forced. In fact, this is forced for a few moves here. Yeah, so far it's all easy. All right, Kearney E5, I think, is forced too. Although, stop. He says rookie four. Why didn't he accept the draw? Because he wants to beat him. Because maybe, I don't know. Maybe uh, they, you know, you ever been a close friend with somebody and maybe had an argument and it really hurts, so you just want to crush the guy? Maybe. Maybe. Who knows? All right. All right. Gadir's got 100 king moves he could play here. Oh. Well, then. I have to take a stab. This is, it's, yeah, it's a 50 50 move, isn't it? Ah, oh, Jesus. Who got that? Sasha again? Oh, yes. And Pablo Sebastian Yonot as well. well how did you and Nava get Gadir in your house? How did you get him to Toronto? Mm. There's definitely a conspiracy here. Yeah, major. It's amazing today. Yes. I have to phone to New York Times. <laughs> It's about time. Uh, I got to take some chances now. You guys are getting off the chain. Now you're right behind me, Sasha. Uh, wow. Really? What's happening here? Oh, oh yeah, yeah, they're so close now. Wow. Well, look at the illustrious names that we're affiliated with here. I mean, wow. honestly, some strong players. Yuri, Orkin, Basem, Pavel. Then some guy in Florida, then some guy in Toronto, Toronto, up there in Toronto, Tim yeah. and Marion. Oh, uh, yes, and Marion, Romania. But actually, he's located in Italy, in Rome. Oh, is he? Yes. Well, he is a Romanian. Aha! Aha! Yeah, 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 yeah. See you, Sasha. Sorry, I had to leave you behind there. Mm hmm Us Americans have been taught to centralize our kings in the end game. Go USA. Haha. <laughs> yeah. Yes, yes, exactly. <laughs> well, you know, Gadir usually likes to make the king moves, but he's been pawn pushing today. Watch me get this one wrong. I went with the pawn push. Not that anybody cares, because really, uh, they should be caring what Yuri and Orkin are doing now. Let's put some pressure on them. Yuri and Orkin. Yeah. Well, it's interesting what Watch is going to play here. I'm sick of those guys. Every week. Every week it's Yuri and Orkin. Yuri and Orkin. Yuri and Orkin. And Orkin agrees with me. Great. Great. No, Orkin. Pick something else. <laughs> uh, what you got here, Sasha? You going with the king move? Uh, no, I got C4 move. Everybody's on C4. Watch him play Rook D8. He's been playing weird Rook moves today, too. That would be a, a weird Rook move that's not weird, because it makes sense. In fact, I picked it now. Rook G8 might win the contest. Yeah, I know. That's what I was thinking, Orkin. He likes to move his king, but 
Every time I've done that today, he's pushed a pawn. <laughs> he's driving me nuts, some friend he is. What the hell? Really, Gadir? Really? Oh, wow. He's got this figured out to some... Uh, 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 Swiss and you Zug Zug Gee, what is that? You're turning down draws. Yeah, exactly, Orkin. But this is... What this is a famous Sug Swang that we just don't know about. What are you doing? Oh, I love you, Gadir. Uh, don't nobody tell any tell Gadir later I was yelling at him. <laughs> what is he doing? Uh, this is a draw. How do you win this? He's behind on time too. Yep. Uh, yeah, you got so what about two minutes. Okay. And uh, Safari has uh, 17 and a half minutes. Wow. Yeah, we got to take the emotions out of this now. But Gadir plays very coolly with short time. But, dude, C3? <sighs> are we so, Rook D4. Shake hands now. <laughs> Electronically. Is he ever going to put a Rook in the seventh? Maybe. Click. Yeah, he found, and of course, I didn't enter anything. Because I started thinking he might move the king. I normally know, Gadir. I feel so baffled today. Well, black might take that pawn. And then there's no win. Only, only Altosh. You know, maybe Gadir could run out of time, but Gadir never runs out of time. Well, he did against you, though, didn't he, in, in Blitz? Yeah. Okay, so Abdullah is now in first place. Look at that. And yeah. Yuri is in second. Dr. Basham, I mean, is in third. And Michael in fourth. And Pablo Sebastian Yonut in fifth. Is this guy and thinking about? Take the pawn. Pablo Silva, Sasha Star, Marcel Leon. Why would you not take the pawn here? What a... Where are these guys from Baku? Oh, he'll take it. He'll take it. Did they not Look take pawns in Baku? There we go. Oh, jeez. Hmm. Yeah. And, 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 you know, take the puns, yeah. And the other guy will take the pun, too. This is not rocket science. Yeah. Must move. Yeah, it will simplify to a, to a drawish position very soon. Ah, jeez. Oh, Rook G2 just moves the king to a good square. That's dumb. So is he going to go to C5 or C6? He's going to go to C6, right? And I didn't... Yeah, C C5 looks too, too yeah, cute. Yeah. And then... Yeah, Rook, yeah, he'll eat some more. You know, Gadir should eat when he's not feeling well. Uh, he'll eat... <laughs> yep, yeah, and... And uh, I think El Taj, he's not a tiny guy. I think he'll eat too. <laughs> oh, <yeah. Sure. laughs> They're playing this out. So that we can uh, catch Orkin, that's why. You gotta catch the Orkin man somehow. Alright then. Well. Uh, F6. F6 because it gives you the once in a blue moon uh, Rick disco check thing. There we go. Oh, 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 ho, ho! Oh, 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 God bless the Soviet authorities. 300 crowns. Ha, ha. Wow, amazing. Well then, Altash. Oh, this is, this, this is going to decide who wins the contest right here. Wow. Oh, Bassam went down on that. Whoa. Whoa. I'm not afraid of her. There we go. Yeah, here we come, guys. It's like the old days. This is awesome. Well, what else can Gadir do here? He can just ignore that, can't he? Yes, and in fact, I would. No, he didn't. He went to the draw move. Well, dude, why are we playing this out? There's no reason to play this out now, is there? Uh... Yeah, this is over. What are they doing? Uh, they're just playing for fun, few more moves here oh, yeah. and there. They're not having fun, I'll tell you that. They're, <laughs> fun. they're both pissed off that this is a draw. Well, maybe Eltosh isn't. Yeah, this is advantage Eltosh, isn't it? 
Uh, who are we going to get to uh, talk to us afterwards here? Uh, I think uh, good to you. Yeah. We might like try, try to help out as well. Oh, this is a real hard move to find, too. Oh, my God. And then... And then what the heck does this do? Uh, this move now is going to decide who wins. Oh, this yep. Sucks. I don't want to fall behind. <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea. I wasn't a Russian schoolboy. Every Russian schoolboy probably... Knew. Sasha, you were a Russian schoolboy. There it is. That's what I would have put in. But I'm looking at stupid stockfish. <laughs> yeah. Stupid stockfish. Making me... Yeah, I got to need to get rid of that thing. <laughs> uh, me three. Not working. Working. Yeah, we're... Okay, so I got to put some money in this. Once I figure out what's going on. Ah. Uh, doesn't matter what he does, right? I, I would have done that too, but I was too chicken. Stop <laughs> I seriously, well, Kadir's not going to trade, is he? No, no, no. So what will he do? I think I know. Oh, he did trade. Okay, whatever, whatever, whatever. They're going to draw. Come on, guys. Well. No. Yeah. Okay, there. No. Yeah, really? That was great. <laughs> okay, it's a done deal. I mean, seriously. <laughs> uh, I wonder what it'll do. Hmm. Working, congratulations. You know, this is kind of cool. You know, maybe they're just so angry with each other that they don't want to draw. But I think after king takes a5, king takes c3, I, I think there's not no choice. <laughs> well, what else can he do? <laughs> you keep moving their kings around. <laughs> it's unavoidable at this point. <laughs> wow. Well, this was a fun contest. Yeah, 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 yeah. Wow, wow. You can play King H3, but actually. Oh my God! Take the. Yay! Yay! Thank you, Gadir. Oh my God! Oh wait, we still get to enter a move. <laughs> El Tash could screw us all. Yeah. And it would be funny. You know, it's something I might do if I was in this game and I and somebody, didn't want to see Orchid and Yuri win. I said, yeah, I'll tell with you guys. <laughs> yeah, King C5. And watch us all just go crazy. All right. Oh, boy. I want okay. cash. Orchid won a brilliant contest with uh, almost 3,000 crowns. Congratulations. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, let's do a quick review. Okay. And look at this. Victor Mago won the worst result prize with negative 4,800 crowns. Oh, well wow. done. Well, he's either really done or he was trying to do it. I think he was now, trying to do it. That's determination. That yeah. is determination. Wow. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, these Venezuelans never quit. And it's not easy to win. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, and I, you know, that's a record that may never be broken. That is an amazing, amazing score. 4,860. Well, it, it would have to be broken in like a longer game, like a hundred move game. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. So let's, let's imagine there are 48 moves in this game. So he would put hundred crowns on impossible moves like H3 on the first move, A6 for black on the first move and so on. So yeah, that's about right. So he, he choose all his wrong moves and put hundred crowns on each move. Okay, makes sense. Okay, these guys are texting, right? So yeah. let's get them in the uh, analysis here. Okay. Wow. 
Uh, the, oh, Jody. Hi, Jody. See you guys. Jody, there's a game tomorrow. It's Sunday, 3 o'clock. We do one game a day. I really would love to see you guys here tomorrow. And thank you for coming today. Thank you, Gabriel. Who else do we have to thank? Sasha Starr. All players, all winners. Yeah. And let's get, let's get the review. And Marty um, Hirsch, for real. Yep. And don't forget, there's a, a tournament coming up now in 50 minutes, so less than an hour, in which you can win 50 credits for first, 40 for second, yeah. 30 for third, and you can use those credits to, to get crowns in the contest, which won't count toward your top prize, but you can use them to place your stakes and try to get a top prize or a low prize, either way you want to go. That sounds like I gambling. That sounds like gambling. So, the same match had to leave. Uh, the game was a draw, obviously. Yeah. Michael, were there any key turning points in the game? Well, let's get Kadir in, in here. I'd rather... No, we can't. He's, we can't. He's had, he had to go. Uh, what about El Tosh? He won't show up either? Oh, I don't know. Of course they leave this to me. Oh, let me ask him again. Let me try. Him. I've invited him. We'll see. Oh, okay, fine, fine, fine. All right, then. The key turning points brought to you by True Value Hardware. Uh, yes. Wow. Well, then. Key turning points. Was El Tosh playing D5? Really? Yeah. Obviously, that's a very, yeah. very interesting idea. So where is that? Idea. I'm not even good at using this board. Sasha, are you good at using this board? I just haven't done it enough times, and I got addicted to Gadir doing it because he's so good at it. Here we go. There we go. Is that it? There we go. That was the key. Whoa. Somebody just messaged me. Gadir can't talk. Oh, okay. Oh, I forgot about that. Thank you, Gadir. Because Gadir is a gentleman. Well, Gadir, can't you, like, manipulate the board, though? No, he's left. Okay. I'm going to ask him to come back. Hey. Hey, Gadir. Uh, uh, Farley is. Do the uh, analysis board. Is Farley's here now? No, they've all left. Oh, well, Gadir will come back. Look, it's up to you. Yeah, it's up to me. Get, yeah. Let me get him back. That's right. Please come, please do analysis board. Okay, so look, here we are at move eight. What is black going to do? Um, I know that there is an A5 move is being played. A5 can be played. D6 A5. can be played. Yeah, D6, yeah. The point of A5 move is that very often white reacts with A4. So after that, black can play knight G4. And if queen takes G4, knight takes D4. And this simplification works quite well for black. Okay, good, good, good. And the thing, the point where we... Um... Go ahead, demonstrate. The... Sasha, go ahead. You can demonstrate. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay, his son is crying, so he's not coming. Okay. Okay, no problem. Okay, now Sasha. Yes. The other point was, I would guess, where Gadir took over ten minutes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, yeah. That I mean, was yeah, really was interesting tough. to me. Yuri uh, readily admits that his age three that he played recently was a dumb move. Yuri, Yuri, let's get Yuri in on the analysis here. He understands this position better than all. Oh, I think wait a minute. I, I think I played this position against Yuri in Blitz game. Really? In fact, yes, he did play H3 in this position. Yuri's left. Yeah, but after H3, I never had any problems by playing D6, Bishop D7, and so on. That's why H3 doesn't make any sense. Okay, you did okay. message me that said tomorrow. He is willing to discuss both games as long as you want. He's got real problems in the household. But okay, so some issues Queen F3 today. move was the other critical move, um, and I think he made the right choice there. Um, the fact that these guys clearly are dying to beat each other makes tomorrow yes. a tomorrow, monumental okay. game, yeah. not only for chess stars, for the whole chess world. Anybody who doesn't tune into this tomorrow doesn't want to see a Super Bowl. They don't want to see uh, 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 Well, how many people tuned in for that stupid fight, that fake fight that they had on pay-per-view uh, about a month ago? This is a, a fight much better than that one. And there will be blood for sure, thanks to Armageddon. No shalom, no shalom, baby. 
Yeah. Okay, so Michael, thank you very much. Sasha, thank you. Everybody, thank you very much, everybody. In a, in a, in a, in less than an hour, enjoy the tournament. And I'll see you tomorrow back here for another contest, the rematch. Okay, good. Marty, I can ask you one question. Can we move Blitz a little bit closer since we finished contest a little bit earlier? We can start actually in, uh, say, in 10 minutes. We'll start it in 10 minutes. Yeah. Thank you, Sasha. Thank you, Mike. Thank you, Marty. Thank you, everyone. Okay. Here we go. 10 All minutes. Right. Yes, so let's start uh, Blitz in 10 minutes. Okay, good. Okay, and we'll see you next time. Bye, Bye here guys. See you tomorrow. Thanks, everyone. Bye for now. Thank you. Thank you. Marty, you still there? Marty, you hung up? I'm here. Oh, okay, good. Wow, I think uh, that was pretty exciting. I'm sure there's something I could have done better. But, uh, I don't know. I'll see you tomorrow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thanks. Um, thank you, buddy. Right. Bye.